Okay, now let's dive into getting started with a, building a ZKVM application. So we're on the getting started page. We click here, we end up on the quick start page. If you've never used Risk Zero before, you probably want to start on the installation page. And you're going to need to install Rust. Um, and you're going to need to install the Cargo Risk Zero tool. So you're going to use these commands to install the Cargo Risk Zero tool. And then you'll get a printout saying it's ready to use. You can confirm that you have it installed correctly with this command. So then we can pop over to the quick start. So on the quick start, there's five steps. We need to install the tool chain, which we already just walked through. Then we're going to use the Cargo Risk Zero tool to create a project. We're going to sort of orient ourselves to the project. We're going to run the project in dev mode. This is skipping proof generation to just enable things to move quickly when you're building. And then finally, we're going to see how to turn dev mode off in order to actually generate a proof for your program. So step one, install Rust, install the tool chain. Step two, use the Cargo Risk Zero tool to create a new project. Step three, um, orient yourself to this new project that you just built. So maybe you just want to poke around in the directory, um, but maybe you want to take a look at this Hello World tutorial, which will sort of walk you through a step-by-step -step guide of um, the pieces of your new template project that you just built. So in particular, the things that you're wanting to make sure that you're aware of how to do is how to share data between the host and the guest, how to commit outputs to the journal, and how to generate a receipt and interact with the receipt. Okay, so once you've kind of oriented yourself to the project, or you could even skip this step and just go straight to, I'll learn about it later and I just wanna run it. Um, this command will skip proof generation. This is dev mode is skipping proof generation so that you can kind of build quickly. And if you turn dev mode off, then you'll be able to actually generate proofs. So at the bottom of the quick start, we have a little bit of additional information um, about how to collect information about how many clock cycles your program runs. Um, the ZKVM supports computations of unbounded size. Um, if your programs are large, we're going to split the computation into a bunch of segments. So um, this is just a, like each segment consists of one million clock cycles. Um, yeah, and that's the full quick start. So I will point out that if you are looking for some more advanced materials, there's instructions on how to generate proofs here, how to optimize your ZKVM applications here, and how to integrate your ZKVM applications into blockchain contexts here. So happy building and see you soon.